we're going to replace this toilet, install a new toilet. So the first things you need to do is get the lid, put that in a safe spot. So you want to shut the water off. This is a quarter turn ball valve. Flush the toilet to evacuate some of the water. And then we can take a shop vac and do a quick job of getting the rest of the water. Take that outside and dump it. Next step is to lay out a drop cloth to protect the work area so they don't chip any of these tiles. <clears throat> protect the homeowner's property. And a little catch basin for the water that's still in the supply tube. So we get the caps off over the closet bolts. And then we take the nuts off of the closet bolts. And put those pieces in our little catch pot that we've got. And of course the one that is the hardest to get to is the one that's going to fight you to come off. But with persistence, it comes apart. So now, undo our closet supply tube. And this toilet is ready to lift off the floor, but it does have a clear bead of silicone around its base. So here we can use a linoleum knife. It's got a very sharp point. And we can start to cut through this silicone. So now we've broken the seal loose and then lift it. And there we are. Now, we get the tank loose so that we can take that off. Which makes it easier to carry. And take the bowl away. So now we've got a couple cleanup items to take care of. First of all, we gotta get rid of this of silicone and a great tool for that is a wallpaper scraper. Another thing, it's a good idea to have a wad of newspaper handy. Stuff that down the opening for two reasons. One, if you get sewer gas odors coming back up through, that can be a little bit odiferous. And the second thing is, all these little tiny pieces and parts, drop something on the floor, if there's nothing in that hole, it's bound to go down the hole. And then you want to clean off this closet flange. Oh, and one other thing. This was back in the corner behind the toilet. Not going to need this anymore. We're putting an American Standard ActiClean toilet in today. It's a self-cleaning toilet, so you can throw this out. One last bit of housekeeping. Okay, so here comes the fun part. That's when we get to unpack and see what all is in this box. Cartridge with the cleaning solution in it. Here's the tank. <clears throat> Set that to the side. Here's the tank lid. Slow closed seat and hardware. And last but not least is the bowl. Some stuff for the recycle guy, and we can clear the deck. Okay, the next step is to get the closet bolts in the closet flange and have them be an equal distance away from the wall. And we can do that by measuring off the back wall and marking 
where we want those to be on the flange. And we want to be at 12. Now we'll take the T-head bolts, slide them in the slot, and run the capture nut down. That's going to hold that in place. You can even run them on ahead of time if you want to because of that T-slot. Double check our measurement. 12 inches on the money. Good. Okay, it's time for us to set the bowl. Got the closet bolts in place. You want to remember to take out the newspaper plug before we attempt to install the bowl. Cross that out to the side. Get our wax gasket. Now, I don't know if you knew this or not, but wax gaskets were first invented by a plumber. And we'll take that. This is the horn of the toilet. And put that over the horn of the toilet. Press down a little bit to make sure that it sticks. You also want to make sure these are at room temperature if you're doing this during cold weather and that's been out in your truck or your car. And you don't want that to be real stiff and hard. You want it to be able to compress. So we lift up the bowl and do a turtle carry and look for the bolts right through the openings. And because that gasket has a plastic guide on it, we know that that's gonna go straight into the closet flange. And we can lean on this to do most of the compression of the gasket before we tighten the bolts down. Next thing you wanna do is scare this toilet up with the sidewall, 15 and a half, and 15 and a half. So now, we go ahead, and tighten down our bolts that they provided. Put the extension side down. So that's going to fit in here to help guide this. And we spin that down and make that hand tight. And kind of feel it when that toilet starts to come in contact with the floor. <clears throat> Snap the cap on and we're done. American Standard has made the bolt caps nice and tall so you don't have to bother cutting off the brass bolts at all which is a nice touch and yeah, we're ready to set the tank as you can see the American Standard ActiClean is a three bolt tank these three bolts are going to line up with the holes in the back of the toilet and these two gaskets line up with the two openings for the water flow through the toilet and of course this is the water connection from the supply so we'll grab that with both hands Get that balanced and lower that down in. Double check our bolts. Make sure that they've lined up properly. And take the three nuts and the wrench that they provide, which holds the nut in place. And simply run that up and snug this down. Now this is a little bit like putting a tire on a car. You don't want to crank down all the way on just the first bolt or the second bolt. You snug it up and then go bolt, go across and back and across and back and keep doing that until you have it tightened up. The other thing you want to watch is how level you are across the back. I'm going to make sure they stay level. And before we get too snug, 
we're going to check this and make sure that we're straight and even with the back wall too. Good. Now you can finish tightening that up. What this does is compress those two gaskets to create a watertight seal between the tank and the bowl. So that when you flush the water goes into the bowl, it doesn't leak out and run on the floor. That's good and solid. Okay. Now this toilet has two flappers in it. Here you can see on the inside that when you flush the toilet, both flappers come up. When the cleaning solution is going to go through, just one flapper comes up. There's flushing the toilet. That'll be cleaning. Now we want to get the supply tube hooked up. This is a soft copper chrome plated tube and it was in once before so this brass furl is at the base. I like to put a little bit of pipe dope on there. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. All we're really trying to do is take up some of that friction so that we get a really good seal when we tighten that down. Run that on loose for right now. Swing this around. Get that started on the shank of the ball cock. Snug that up. And because it's a rubber cone tip supply tube, we don't have to go crazy tightening that down. Tighten that up. It's good and snug. And we're ready to turn it into water. Okay, now it's time to put the post in for the, the seat. And what we've got is the top mount piece with the post on it. Got a rubber gasket on the back side to give us a nice snug fit to the china. Stainless steel bolt slips down through and then we have a cone washer with the cone side up, flat washer, and a bolt. Go in the nut, which we can tighten down with a Phillips head screw. The cone washer is going to go up and seat itself in the opening of the china to keep the bolt centered. It also prevents junk from accumulating. And of course one of the ActiCleans claim to fame is this Everclean china surface that's antimicrobial, bacterial, and prevents odor buildup. It also helps to lift stains off because it's got a, an ultra smooth glazed finish to it. And this toilet comes with a 10 year warranty as well, which can give your customers a little peace of mind. So snap on our stainless steel decorative covers, get our slow close seat, And as you can see, the slow closed seat has two push pins that we push those in in order to be able to remove the seat. And then it just snaps right down over the posts. And those push pins snap back into place. We check the fit to make sure everything's good and snug, lines up properly. And we are done with the installation of that seat. And as you can see, has a nice slow close feature so there's no slamming of seats in the middle of the night. Prevents damage to the china. Nice quiet close. Okay, it's time to add the lid. So we take the safety tabs off and look to see where that lines up with the tank. And we'll see where the tabs go. We set the lid in place. And go ahead and tighten down those tabs to securely fasten the lid to the tank. 
open up the battery compartment and remove the batteries from the pack that's provided and these batteries are good for up to two years in the active clean toilet put the lid back on and now it's time for the chemicals so remove the cap and you'll note that there's a check valve on the chemical container so that the cleaner can't spill out and when you place that down inside the lid there's a plunger in there that depresses that check valve and allows the cleaner to prime the the area. And we've got two functions up top for cleaning the bowl. We've got weekly which is a quick clean and then we have the monthly deep clean. We're going to do the quick clean today. I'm going to depress that and the function will inject cleaner into the bowl. Now we're not going to flush but remember the only the one flapper is going to lift up to add cleaner and while this is in the cleaning process it's going to flash to let us know that it's doing that that's going to sit for about a minute and that away and you'll have a nice clean bowl with a little bit of a fresh smell and that's a wrap let the seat go back down and that ladies and gentlemen is the american standard act to clean toilet installation and we are done